Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I wanted to follow up uh, aligning the laser tube um, because in the last episode I showed how cockeyed that primary mirror was. So what I've done is I've squared up the primary mirror and one of the things is that I've taken a caliber and I've measured, it's kind of a little difficult to get in there, it is measured and squared, squared this up and that other side. So this is perfectly square. It's square um, as it mounts here. And what I've done is I've used the adjustments on the tube to actually align my target to the secondary mirror with the with actually moving the tube. So moving the tube as a gimbal here, both this way and this way, I've now aligned my target on the secondary mirror. Whoops, I get it in my finger and frame here. So what's happening now is the runout that we typically see because if I, um, I'm trying to think of how I do this. If I flip this over, let me open this up and see if I can move the camera a little bit. So if I push this out, you can see in the back I have the target and so I've got that vertical line drawn on the target there to measure my run out uh, because I'm using the laser alignment beam. And then what I'm doing, you can kind of see the, the, the various points on the target where I've been testing and I've got a pretty good grouping down at the bottom. Um, but all that target movement that you see way on, the, on there, that's all done just by moving the tube. So I've kept the mirror square. So what I'm doing is actually squaring the tube back here. I'm squaring this tube actually to that assembly. So if I put it back down, get a picture of the tube in. So yeah, I'm now squaring this tube up. So you notice that it kind of runs in and runs up a little bit. But what I've done is match that to the anomalies of, of the bed. So I'm getting a lot square beam out of this because in reality, in a perfect world, I should be able to hit 45 off there, 45 off my secondary, into my into my lens, so and then straight down into my lens. So that's in an ideal world. But again, the sheet metal is not square. So what I've done, again, to to compensate for the twists and turns in the sheet metal, is I'm using these these uh, uh, hangers to adjust my laser tube to square that mirror into my secondary mirror into my lens. So, so far it's actually working pretty good and I wanted to share that. So I've been able to move the tube independently and so it's sort of a gimbal piece where I can move the front and back. Now what I've done is I've taken I've taken a level and I put it on and I'm actually running a little bit high on the front and what I did is I had leveled the tube, squared the tube and from there I took my first measurements on the target in the front and then I started adjusting the tube rather than the mirror I started adjusting the tube to get my target on the mirror now what's happened is I get a more stable target on that secondary mirror than I do uh, by adjusting this primary mirror because if I try adjusting here what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a certain amount of run out because I, I've, this, this will not no longer be 45 so, you know, even if it's two degrees off, by the time you talk two degrees run on your bed and then two degrees run out, you know, on the head, you're going to be quite a ways off. And so by the time you get to the far end of the bed, and that's one of the real challenges with these. So anyways, kind of wanted to do a little bit of a follow-up video and kind of show uh, that, that it actually does work. So you might remember this from... Um, uh, prior alignment videos. This, this is my, let's see if I can move back a little bit. So this is my alignment laser, my rough alignment laser. So I've set this on the top and that's where I drew the line on the far target. Let me go back here, open this back up, and go out and then let me take this off and you can probably see, see a little better changing lenses. So you see the line that I've drawn on the far target? So I've measured my, my run, which is I've got probably about a three millimeter run. And I'm attempting to compensate for that in the tube. And then you can kind of see down here a little bit further. I know it's a little bit far away. But you can see I really got a tight grouping now of my, uh, 
you know, impact area or whatever, burn areas, from the laser tube just by adjusting the tube. So what you're seeing down there at that end really is just me adjusting the tube and leaving this, this um, primary mirror alone up here. And so, again, the idea is as I run this back and forth that my run out that you see in the vertical will go away. Um, and so far, in general, pretty close because, again, you can see this, this very tight pattern um, right in here, if I get my arm in here, so where I'm kind of pointing to with the pencil. It's a pretty tight pattern, so I'm pretty happy with it. It's going to be easily within the opening of the lens, which is my goal, um, is to keep it as much in the opening of the lens as possible. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, like and subscribe and hey we'll have more follow-up videos cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects